Hello, welcome to Study Topics. This week we'll be reviewing the Borg, Rating of Perceived Exertion Scale. The Borg is a tool that is used to help monitor exercise intensity. It allows your patients to rate their perceived level of exertion. You've probably heard reference to the Borg and the modified Borg scale. The original Borg scale was a 6 to 20. Know why? Well, the reason is, is to create a scale that could, when multiplied by 10, reflect your patient's heart rate. For example, if your patient said they were a 6 out of 20, then you multiply 6 by 10 gives them a heart rate of 60, which would equate to a resting heart rate. Unfortunately, that scale is not very user friendly. So the modified Borg scale was created, which is a 0 to 10. A zero is your patient is at rest, so they're not working hard at all. A scale, a scale of 10 is they're working really, really, really hard, sprinting for that bus, working so hard that they couldn't sustain that for very long. As physiotherapists, we're often rehabilitating patients with chronic conditions or general injuries. And for the majority of our caseload, we want to encourage patients to work at a moderate intensity level. This encourages a safe, effective training intensity that benefits them cardiovascular-wise. Now let's test your knowledge. If you're encouraging your patient to work at a modified intensity, what level should they choose on the modified Borg? Hopefully you have determined that that should be around a 3 to a 5. A range of three to five on that modified Borg really gives them that idea of a moderate intensity. Your patient should be able to talk comfortably. And if your patient rates themselves at this level, then they're working at the appropriate intensity. Let's test your knowledge again. If working at a moderate intensity, how should your patient feel? Well, they should report that they're starting to feel warmer, okay, due to muscle effort. Their heart rate, their breathing rate start to increase to accommodate the increased physical demands. They should be able to talk easily, carry on a conversation. Now, the exercise should be hard enough that they're breathing fast, their heart rate is elevated, they're able to hold a conversation, and they are not gasping for air. If they're gasping for air, they're working too hard. The Borg is an excellent tool to use when prescribing cardiovascular exercise. Practice teaching a friend or a study buddy how to monitor their own exertion using the Borg. It's harder than it looks. If you found this helpful, please like this video or send us a comment at info at ptexamprep.ca. Thanks for joining me.